This guide is very detailed step-by-step -step methodology for you to follow to install, test, and use a BSSV server in a production environment. If you encounter any issues with your install, this guide includes three one-hour calls with our CNC team to get you past them. You will have a successful install. When using BSSV services, there are two scenarios. We can be a provider or consumer. If a provider, the business services server initiates a business function which engages the database server to retrieve data from the database and share it with a third party. If a consumer, the BSSV server initiates a business function which engages the database server which adds or updates data in the database obtained from a third party. These nine steps are broken down into minute detail to be followed step by step by you. This is the JDP over 12C install section in a 32-bit JDK 1.7 install and where you download it from. Next is the post you want client installation tasks and includes all the pre-config steps before the package build. Now we cover all the steps to do the BSSV package build and deploy until you see the screen package build completed successfully. Next we detail the steps to create a business services instance. All managed servers deployed on WLS domain should be stopped. We should create a separate domain for the BSSV instance. So, create a domain, create a BSSV managed server, and create BSSV instance using Server Manager Console. Once we complete all the screenshots and steps, we finally arrive at a screenshot that says BSSV server status running. From 9.2.1, we can deploy BSSV package using Server Manager Console. Whenever the BSSV package is done, an executable jar file will be created as shown in the below package location. We need to upload this jar file to Server Manager Console and distribute it to the Server Manager agent where BSSV server is installed to deploy the BSSV package. To deploy the package, it's quite simple. First you click change and then you click change component and that's pretty much it. Um, after that we're going to verify your configuration, then we're going to do the post install configuration. Next we do the provider test using SOAP UI test and Postman test. For the provider test we use a third party tool called Postman to see if we can get the XML to provide to the outside world. And here you can see that we do indeed get the required XML so things are working fine. The guide goes into great detail on where to find Postman, how to download it, how to install it and how to use it. Next we do the consumer test and you see there's a lot of configurations. I'm going to go to P95 4001, enter an address number, and if you do get the data, then your consumer test is working properly. So that is a very compressed look at the BSSV server guide now available for purchase. This is a high quality, finely detailed roadmap to install BSSV on a production system. This guide is only $99 US and comes with three one hour service calls with one of the CNC engineers who wrote this guide to help you if you encounter any issues. That's all for now. Bye bye. <music>